Carlos Alcaraz versus Borna Choric is the first semi-final for the Men's Madrid Open for 2023. And both have been very impressive to get to the semi-finals. Choric started the tournament off as a number 17 seed and would get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on the wild card Gaston, which was no problem for Choric, getting through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-3. In the third round, he'd take on the 12th seed Hercatch. And after a close first set, but eventually get through in straights, 7-6, 6-3. In the fourth round, he'd take on the 29th seed Fakina, who had just taken out Runa in an epic match in the third round. And this would be the toughest match so far for Chorich, having to come back from a set down, playing over three hours to eventually win in three, 6-3, 6-7, 7-6 six, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Chorich would take on the lucky loser Altmaier, who, who had been having a dream run to this stage. But this was no problem for Chorich, getting through in straight sets, 6-3, six, 6-3. Three, six, three. Algaraz started the tournament off as a number one seed, and would get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Rusevori, and after being down a set, he'd have to fight back to win, 2-6, six, 6-4, six, 6-2. Six, in the third round, he'd take on the 26th seed Dimitrov. This was no problem for Alcaraz, getting through in straight sets, 6-2, 7-5. In the fourth round, he'd take on the 13th seed Zverev, the man that he beat in last year's final, and this result was the same, if not better, with Alcaraz demolishing Zverev, 6-1, 6-2, to get to another Madrid quarterfinal. In the quarterfinals, Alcaraz would take on the number 10 seed Hashinov, who had just taken out Rublev in the previous round. And after a very close second set, being down 5-2 and coming back, Alcaraz would get through in straights, 6-4, 7-5, to advance to the semifinals. These guys have actually never crossed paths before, which is kind of crazy because over the last couple of years, they've both had very good results, but they've never had to cross paths. They were supposed to play at the US Open last year, but unfortunately, Chorich lost early, and that didn't happen. Taking a look at shot quality, thanks to Tennis Insights, over the last 52 weeks, one of Chorich has been averaging an 8.1 on serve, much higher than Alcaraz's 7.6, but on the returns, Alcaraz has the edge, the 7.0 to a 6.9 from Chorich. The forehand also in favor of Alcaraz at an 8.1, compared to Chorich's 7.8, and the backhands are locked at a 7.6. So if Chorich is going to win this one, he's going to have to serve really well. And also may have to avoid hitting forehand, stick to the backhand, and may have to avoid Elkris's forehand, trying to hit the backhand instead, because that forehand is lethal. And the shot quality is calculated in real time by analyzing each shot's speed, spin, depth, width, and the impact it has on the opponent. This is a new way of analyzing matches, brought to you by Tennis Insights. If you want to check out more, you can go check them out on Twitter, link down in the description. This is going to be a very intriguing matchup because these guys have never played before, and they're very, very skilled at their best. But I have to go with Elkris in three sets here. I'll give Chorich a set because I think he's good enough to get a set, and he has beaten some big names at this event before, but I don't think he's going to get through Elkris. I think Elkris in three in the final, and he'll play either City Pass or someone in the final, but let me know down in the comments below who you think is going to win this one.